Ok, tenemos audio. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ok, um, I'm posting this video asking for help, uh, an opinion, um, to, to show you what I found. Um, I have a Canon 80D, right? I'm shooting right now with the Canon 80D, a 1018mm Canon 4.5 to 5.6, auto focus, IS, STM, it's fine. But this is the thing, I need a faster lens. So I was looking for 2.8, aperture 2.8, and I was looking for a 10 millimeters to stay in the same range as this lens because this is a crop sensor, you know? So have a scale factor of 1.6, 10 millimeter, 1.6, 16 millimeters. So that's what I was looking for. And um, I found a Rokinon 10 millimeters 2.8 and a Tokina 11. It's not 10, but it's close. 11 to 20, 2.8. The difference is that the Rokinon is manual and the Tokina is out of focus, just like this Canon that is out of focus too. So this is what I did. I went online and looked for a chart and I found this chart right here to do a test. I know it's not the most scientific way of doing it, but this is the only way I have. I placed the camera like two feet away from my screen. My screen is a 43 inch um, monitor, a 4K, just in case. And uh, I started taking the pictures. I did a couple tests, but I'm gonna show you two tests. Let me lower this, let me look for the pictures. Okay, here are the pictures. The first test that I did, because the Canon 10 to 18 only goes up to 4.5, don't go lower than that. So I compare all the three lenses at 10 millimeters, except for the Tokina that is 11, but it's close. So 10 millimeters, 1 25th of a second, the shutter speed, aperture of 4.5, and the ISO at 100. Okay, here is the Canon. Let me compare. Let's see. Okay, on the left, you have the Canon 10 millimeters, 120 feet of a second, 4.5 the aperture, ISO 100. On the right, you have the Rokinon 10 millimeters. Um, 2.8, but in this test, I set it up for aperture of 4.5, 120 feet of a second, and the ISO to 100, so I can compare. As you see, the Rokinon is a little brighter, and uh, on the same settings, it's a little brighter. It's brighter for by, I will say, let me see, I put it here, Canon, Rokinon, Two thirds of a stops. Three stop. Three thirds of a stop is one stop. So two thirds of a stops. Okay, is brighter. The weird thing is that both are at the same settings. The other thing that I notice is that the Canon is a little bit softer. The image is not as sharp as the Rokinon. And remember. The Canon is out of focus, the Rokinon is manual. With the Rokinon, I don't know if you can see it very well on your screen, but you can even see the pixels of my screen. And down here, um, where it says 7, 8, 9, 10, you can see the numbers are a lot sharper than the, the Canon. When you start looking to the side, you even here you can see that it's a lot sharper, even down here on these squares. Now, let's compare the Canon with the Tokina. Let me see. Can get it right here. And the Tokina. Okay. On the left, you see the Tokina 11 to 20 millimeters out of focus at 125th of a second, aperture of 4.5, ISO 100. The same at the other side with the Canon, it's right here. And as you see, it's a lot brighter, a lot brighter. It's brighter by, let me see it, from Tokina to Canon, one stop. So it's, that is a full stop. And remember, both are at the same settings, same settings. 
And definitely the Tokina is a little bit sharper, or we'll say more sharper than the than the Canon. On this one, you can see the pixels of the of the screen. Now, when you compare the Tokina with the Rokinon, let me see. On the left, you have the Tokina 1120, 120 feet of a second, aperture 4.5, ISO 100. On the right, you have the Rokinon, 120 feet of a second. Um, the aperture is 4.5, you don't see it there because this lens is manual, that don't have any communication with the, with the camera, but I set it up at 4.5 and the ISO 100. You can see that the Tokina is brighter and it's brighter by one stop and two thirds. One more stop and it's brighter by two stops. And it's the, are the, the same settings, the same settings of, on both lenses. And uh, both looks sharp. Uh, I will say here that the, the Rokinon is a little bit sharper than the the Tokina, but it's not that much, at least on these two pictures. Now, let's go to only Tokina and Rokinon at 2.8, 125th of a second, ISO 100. Look what happened. Let me look here. Uh, okay, you have on the left the Rokinon. 125th of a second, aperture 2.8, ISO 100, and on the right you have the Tokina, 125th of a second, aperture 2.8, ISO 100. You still can see that the Tokina is brighter, and it's brighter by one and two thirds of a, of a stop. But what happened? The Tokina is out of focus, and I did this test not only one time, a couple times, and each time I had different focus results with the Tokina. Sometimes we're sharper, like you saw in the previous image, sometimes it were like this. On this one, it's blurry, it's not sharp, a rocking on, it's manual, stay sharp right there. Of course, you know, nothing changed. Um, if you're using the Tokina manually, you focus on something and the subject move, you will see that it, it goes out of focus. So that is something you gotta consider. The, the Tokina will keep you in focus all the time, or at least will try to do it best. You know, the best the, less ca the lens can do, you know, because as you see here, I don't know what happened, it's blurred. Um, but it's brighter. So this is the thing. I was looking for a 2.8 lens um, because I need more natural light going to the camera. And, and now I have this dilemma. Should I pick the Tokina that have autofocus, but sometimes it's sharp, sometimes it's not? Or should I, should I pick the Rokinon that even that both are on the same settings, exactly the same settings is one stop and two third darker than the Tokina, but I will get a sharper image every time I set it up. Manual, but sharper, you know. I don't know, I am just made this video so I can show you and ask for your opinion. Um, if you can leave a comment and let me know, uh, I will appreciate honestly because um, I cannot make a decision, it's taking forever and I decide to make this video so somebody else that are looking for a faster lens, wide angle, for an ADD or a crop sensor like me can um, have an idea of what they can expect out of the Rokinon 10mm 2.8 and the Tokina 1120mm 2.8 out of focus. So please let me know. Thank you. Bye.